Santa knows where to find all the best and hottest smartphones just in time to make this Christmas better and bigger than ever. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Ho, 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 ho. With the murder trial of James Huffman IV in its 10th day, and after seven days of prosecution witness testimony, the prosecution rested Friday, declaring they have been successful in proving that Huffman is guilty of murdering 24-year-old Michael Hogg. All right, very good. Thank you, Mr. Banks. But the last few hours of the prosecution's portion of the case was not without contention. On Thursday, phone records were called into question by the defense. On Friday, those phone records were again called into question when a Kentucky State Police detective who investigated the case could not answer a question about timestamps on phone records and their correlation with timestamps on surveillance video. Which way does the lag go? Your Honor, I, I can't answer that. All right. Okay then we can't do it. Other aspects of the case were discussed and the jury was shown the alleged murder weapon. After the prosecution rested, Special Letcher Circuit Judge Kent Hendrickson excused the jury for the weekend. After the jury was excused, defense attorney Robert Wright made a motion for acquittal for Huffman, arguing that the Commonwealth had failed to present sufficient evidence enough that the jury could possibly find Huffman guilty of murder. He then made a motion for a mistrial based on the lack of a change of venue in the murder trial. Both motions were overruled by Judge Hendrickson. There's been more than sufficient evidence to warrant uh, the matter going to the jury at this juncture, so the motion for a corrected verdict on each count is overruled. Hendrickson said the trial in the four-year-old case is now in an unofficial halftime and will now shift to the defense calling witnesses. The defense in the case will begin calling witnesses on Monday. In Whitesburg, Chris Anderson, EKB News.